Welcome back to another video, guys. My name is Christopher from Cars Unlocked. Today, we're gonna to be comparing Android Auto to Apple CarPlay to see which one functions better and which one is the better one to use. So I have my Android phone here, I have my Apple phone here, and let's jump into the video. So just to put things into perspective for you guys, this is the iPhone 13, and this is, uh, I think, the Google Pixel, like the latest one. So both are pretty much brand new phones. Like I've had each phone for about a year, a year now, so they should both work perfectly. First thing we wanna test out is the initial setup and connection. So both things you should just need to plug in. Let's start with the Apple, and we're just gonna plug into the USB here and connect our phone and see what happens here. So I'm just gonna open it up here. And here now it's asking to connect to the Apple CarPlay. I'm gonna hit don't ask anymore and shut that off because I want it to ask me every time. And then I'm gonna hit yes. And I'm gonna hit allow on my phone and here it is all activated so that was a quick little probably 30 second setup let's unplug and let's move on to the android okay now let's try the android and connect the android here so just need to plug this in and let's see what happens here there it pops up I'm gonna obviously delete the prompt and hit yes to connect. And there we go, it's already started. My music is playing and we're good to go here in uh, the Android Auto. So um, overall, both setups were pretty quick. The Android setup was maybe a, a couple seconds faster, um, but overall, real easy to set up. It's also important to note that if you're a wireless person, Certainly the iPhone's better if you want to connect wirelessly. What I've noticed is there's more cars that allow for wireless Apple CarPlay. Wireless Android Auto is still fairly new and is not out in a lot of cars yet. So if you don't want to use the cord, um, CarPlay is the way to go. So let's compare the interfaces of each app here. So here we have the Google one. Google certainly has the advantage in using third-party apps. There's a lot more apps that are compatible with Google. You can see all the different apps that are on my phone that are compatible. I don't have a lot of apps on this phone, to be honest, but here it is here. And they've kind of split the screen up here where you have your GPS, and these are all your recent apps below here. So um, really cool. There's my phone contacts. There's my Spotify. There's my maps and you can search using the Google Maps. So let's plug the iPhone in. So the initial Apple CarPlay interface is pretty similar here. You have your map on this side, you have your Apple Music, and then here's some different apps here. And then you have this kind of large app drawer here, which is gonna display all your apps. You can see that there was a lot more apps on Android than there is with Apple. And I don't get, um, the same functionalities. I like the Google Map app a lot better. Um, and when you're using it on the Android, it's just much easier to use uh, like a Google app on a Google device here. Um, the iPhone Maps is okay, um, but I just prefer to use Google Maps. So overall interfaces, um, like the iPhone, this kind of app drawer is very, very good. It is a lot better. Android Auto recently had an update to match the screens very very similar so you can tell that they were lagging in this category and they finally caught up but i do like this functionality and the ui of carplay a little better android auto is going to have more apps and more capability in terms of third-party apps so let's compare the voice commands on each app and see how that compares uh, we're going to set a little spot to navigate to using the voice commands and go through it here so Start with the Apple CarPlay. Where would you like to go? Navigate to the CN Tower. Getting directions to CN Tower. Hit OK. And here it is, fastest route. Looks like it's taking us right to the CN Tower. CN Tower. 
you can ask Siri to report any crashes or hazards you see. And here you can see the only downside about these Apple Maps is you don't get the pinch to zoom. You just zoom out like this. So overall, not bad using the voice commands. Can't complain there. Let's try the Android. So now it's gonna use Google Maps. Hey Google, navigate to the CN Tower. Navigating to CN Tower. Same address. Oh, and it quickly popped up there. That was a lot quicker than uh, than the Android. And let's jump in here. See, this is why I like this one better. You can easily navigate through and see the Google Maps is just much better. It shows uh, there's a little traffic delay there as well. So overall, I think just the voice commands was a little better in the Android. And just having, like I said, the Google Maps on a Google device is just a lot better. And this is really the main thing that you're going to be using the Android Auto or the Apple CarPlay for is your maps. Overall, this becomes a matter of preference. If you're buying a phone specifically on what, to use one of these two apps, uh, I do like Android Auto a lot better than the Apple CarPlay. However, I don't think that's a reason why you should choose one phone or the other. I bet this is very polarizing. An iPhone user is gonna say that Apple CarPlay is better. An Android user is gonna say Android Auto is better. It's just a matter of debate. I have both phones and like I just showed you, I do like using the Google Maps apps a lot better on the Android Auto, much easier to navigate um, to. However, I have two videos on my channel. I'm gonna link them in the description below about if you're having trouble connecting to each app, one being Android Auto, one being Apple CarPlay. And it seems based on the comments that a lot of people have a hard time connecting to Android Auto. I did the setup. Um, I get a lot more comments about phones not working, phones connecting, phones disconnecting, things like that on the Android Auto video. And I think that's a tribute to the fact that there's so many different Android phones and a lot of them function at different speeds while iPhone there's kind of one phone one interface so it's a little easier for that setup and that connectivity to not have as many issues so if you're kind of technically challenged and you can't figure out how to fix something if your phone disconnects or things like that then maybe Apple is the way to go but overall my consensus would be the Android Auto. You guys comment below which app you use more, which app you like better. And if you learned something here today, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next video.